Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll do an interesting question. Finding a duplicate inside an array. Okay. For example, we have been given this array. Okay. And there are values one. Let's just three, two, seven, eight. Let's say uh, nine. Let's say two. Who is duplicate? Two is present two times, right? Other than that, everything is present only one time. So this is something we need to find. So not here, not this one. This, so straight, this one. We need to find the value which is repeating uh, two times again, which is duplicate in my array. How can we do this? Any idea? We can do this like this. That, okay, great. You can come here. You pick this element. You pick this element. Compare this element with the rest of the elements. You compare with this. Is one equal to two, three? No. Is one equal to two? No. This equal to seven? No. How will I know? This is stored at a of i, where i equal to zero. Okay, I'll compare the value from a of i to i plus one. Again, I'll do plus plus, and I'll compare with everything. Yeah, I'll compare this value basically with all the values. I saw that I did not find the value. So will I stop? No. I'll be like, okay. You did not find me the value. That means you are unique. That means you are only present one, one number, uh, only one time. I'll come to this tree. Now I came to this tree. Okay. Sorry. Second. Now I came to this three. I'm like, hey, three. Okay, first let me something. Do I need to compare this with this? Obviously no, because if in case they were same, then when I was comparing this only, then only it would have given me the answer, right? So I'll compare three with the remaining elements from this, 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 and this. Okay. I'll be here at two. Okay. Even three, I'll be finding it unique. I'll be at two, and I'll be like, okay. Compared to, I'm like, okay, fine. Are you equal? No. Are you equal? No. Are you equal? No. Are you equal? Yes. Stop. That means you are duplicate. Since you are present, that means you are duplicate. Since you are present twice, or basically, since the value at this position is equal to value at this position, that means they are equal. Make sense? Suppose this was seven, and suppose this was two out here. I would have been like, okay, compare. It's not equal. Compare it's not equal. Compare it's not equal. Compare it's not equal. Okay. Then again, I'll move to this specific two and I'll be like, hey, okay, compare, not equal. Compare, not equal. Compare, yes, equal. That means stop. Just return this value. Make sense? That means it's sure that our array will contain one duplicate. Okay. So let's see how we'll do this. Okay. Let's just see how we'll do this. Again, I'm saying once you are at this position, example, if uh, at two. Do we need to go and search from here? No, because this part already have searched, right? If in case it was there, then I would have got it from the uh, from the very beginning itself. In case if seven was present, then seven would have already been equal to any value. It's just so I'm saying. Just give me a second. Just done. Um, if I have compared till seven, okay, and I didn't, didn't find the value. That means seven was compared with this already, right? That means obviously this this was not equal. That's the reason I'm I'm coming here, right? So as soon as I came here, I'll have to compare it with the remaining elements. Okay, I'll have to compare it with the remaining elements. So let's just try and just see how we're gonna do this. So let's I'll erase this. Okay, okay. Let's just create the element. Okay, let's create the array. So we were creating the array as hundred, right? So we will just use five elements. So we'll, let's be sure enough that we'll be using only five. Okay. So let's just create five. Okay, we are sure that we we'll use only five elements, and also let's even give the values as this: uh, one, two, five, four, six, nine, eight. Okay, and let's say nine. So who is the duplicate? Nine is present two, two times. Okay, how many elements are given? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are given eight? So let's just take eight. Okay, let's just take. Okay, now come in. I got my array and I got my int n s equal to eight. Okay, let's just take it because already we know the size is eight. Okay, now I'll like okay, find duplicate. I'll create this function that will find the duplicate. Okay, I'll give it the value of array and I'll give it the value of n. I'll like hey you duplicate find duplicate. You go and bring the element and you store it in the answer. Okay, as soon as you bring that means this will bring an element. Okay, I will. Just print it. Because just print it. Print like uh, see out. Answer of sorry. 
answer okay let's go and make the function the functions are returned an integer because there is a duplicate present out there so it is a, an integer right so let find duplicate is the function name duplicate is copy from here itself that's the people so i won't try it now so just copying it okay so it's an array so int arr array integer n okay so you can start from zero element okay so let's just take a loop for int i equal to zero i lesson and i plus plus okay we need to compare which elements the i plus one element okay so i'll be like okay take one more loop int i j equal to i plus one why i plus one because j will contain the value of i plus one if i equal to zero then i need to compare the value of i with i plus one in, in case if i plus one don't match didn't match then again i plus two that means if one didn't match okay, i'll just take example then understand let's take two three two four example okay so if this value didn't match with this i plus one this is this is i right if this not did not match with i plus one then i need to actually increase the value of j and i have to search here i plus two till when till the end of the array right in case if this was supposed to be let's say this okay then one will be first compared with i plus one they are not same it will be compared with i plus two they are not same it will be compared with i plus three it means it will be compared with index one index two and index three after being compared with index three it's like okay since i've reached the end of my array that means i am not a duplicate element i am a unique element okay makes sense so that's something we need to do we will be running this loop till when till j is less than equal to j less than n right and j plus plus what we're supposed to do if in case your array of r element equal equal ar of j what did i do out here that means i'm saying that hey whatever is the element of zero index if it is equal to the one index okay that means that is my answer so just return the value making sense what's happening and why am you writing here i plus one because see in case value of i is zero now that means it will start going compare from one to n okay I'll just give you the example it will be better much more better right example is the best part to understand right i have two three four four one let's say okay so i'll be like okay this value i'm at zero index okay so ar of i means this right ar of zero means this element it is going to be compared with ar of a i plus one that means one right i equal to zero right now so one it is not equal right increase the value of j j will be increased by one so compare it with a of two it is not equal compared to a of three not equal compared with a of four okay not equal now since they are not equal great they are not equal that means i have to now increase the value of g uh, i from 0 to 1 that means after this loop inner loop ends it, it did not find any any match then my outer loop will increase the value of i by 1 okay that means now my element will be here a of 1 okay i am out here then do i need to go back no i need to go in, in the front that's the reason the j will again restart from i plus 1 i plus 1 means now since i equal to 1 i plus 1 means i equal to 2 right I, if i plus 1 so it will start from here okay it will be like okay i plus 1 is this i plus 1 is basically your j so a of j is pointing at this so now this will be compared with this they are not equal great i'll be comparing again with this they are not equal okay then no fine no problem i'll compare with this as soon as i compare and the value becomes greater than n i'll be like okay see the array is you have already traversed the whole array now increase the value of i okay then the inner loop will stop the value of i will be increased by one now i will be pointing here e of i will be pointing here with i value equal to two who will be a j pointing to a j is starting from i plus one so er j will be pointing here right i'll be like hey a i i equal to aj 
error i equal to aj yes it is equal that means this is the element that means whatever is present out here return it either it return a r r i or return a r r j they are gonna be same right because they are containing the same element so just kind of return any one of them i am returning a r r i okay return this because this is the duplicate make sense and as soon as it return the four will stop because it will come out of this whole function itself okay and it will go on line number yes you would have guessed it correctly to the goal go on line number 19 this answer will actually create a uh, keep on value whatever is the duplicate and i'm printing the value okay so let's just test the elements what is duplicate out here it is nine right so we will be getting nine okay so our answer let's see let's check duplicate will be getting as nine okay let's see make sense if in case 9 was not a duplicate element, let's say uh, 6 was a duplicate element, okay. Now only 6 is present to them, right? Everything is unique. So obviously I'll be getting 6, okay. So let me just write it again. Uh, duplicate. Okay. I don't know, it's really good. Make sense? In case even your 6 is not duplicate, let's say your, um, what is it? Two is your duplicate, okay? Two is your duplicate. So, two is your duplicate because two is present two times, even one here and one out here, right? So, it will be compared, and in case if they are equal, then it will return me that specific value. So, two will be my duplicate. Let's see. Okay, I hope it's clear. It's simple, right? I hope it's clear. Okay, so we'll meet in the next video. We'll see, uh, see you guys in the next video with different questions, okay? So, see you guys. Thank you.